Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Cowie. I'm the founder of Empowered Facts and the host of BizGrams. Each weekday, I get the privilege of coming to you with an awesome guest. And today we have Tarje McIntosh, and she is a business transformation professional who is passionate about operations strategy, business process management, project management, and everything to do to help your business get optimized and digitally transform in many ways. So Tajay, good morning to you and how are you doing today? Good morning, I'm good. <laughs> awesome, I'm excited to have you on the show today. I'm excited to be here. This is my first time going live. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I, uh, you're going to do well. I, I've had the privilege of getting to know you and about your business since January in a greater way. And you're doing amazing things to help organizations explore processes and really look at ways in which they can transform their business. So tell us what, what is it that you do with companies that you work with? Yeah, we sit and, and talk to people. We're very people focused. So we talk to people about um, what they're passionate about and what their businesses are and how we can help them work with their people and their operations better to make those two pieces work together. Businesses don't work without people and they don't work without processes. So it's really finding the, the mesh between the two and optimizing that to, to make, it, make it better for everybody so that those two pieces work really well and the business functions better. Hey, that's awesome. And so what are some of the challenges that you see typically in businesses and what are some of the solutions that you provide? Sure. Um, sometimes it's as simple as people just don't know where the day goes. Um, we've had people come and say, like, I just can't figure out how to make things work better. Um, I'm always like 24 seven going and I can't, there's nothing to show for it at the end of the day. So we just sit and talk through like, what that means um it's no different than when we go to the if we go to the doctor like we always go to the doctor with symptoms right like i have a cough well, okay we're, when did that start right so we try to get to the root cause of what might be causing some of those issues that you're seeing um at, at the business and figure out how to solve for those 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 root cause things um uh, oftentimes it can be as simple as um, maybe someone spending way too much time doing manual things. And then we talk about how do we make that more efficient to get some of your own time back so that now your business is operating and you don't, you're not doing every single thing. So that might be technology. That might be just looking at some of the things that you're doing that are wasteful. Maybe you're doing things over and over and over again manually. Maybe we only need to set up a template for you. It can be, it can be that simple. Hey, that's really powerful. And I could tell you uh, over the years as well, I've gone from being busy, busy, busy to now being more productive, having looked at the systems and, you know, the processes that we operate by to help us with efficiency. You, you mentioned the word technology and, you know, because of COVID, many businesses are thinking about this digital transformation, um, thinking about how they can shift or pivot in that way. Would you say technology is this be all end all solution to everything? No, <laughs> I wouldn't. And it's funny because my background is IT. So I would like to default to that, but it's, it's not necessarily be all and end all. It's finding the right solution. Sometimes it's technology. Sometimes um, in some larger organizations, some of the things that we find is it's just a matter of communication. Sometimes it was one department doesn't know what another department's doing, and it's a matter of finding a way that those two, two departments can communicate. Now information is flowing. You didn't have to spend thousands of dollars on implementing an ERP system or something, um, a big piece of technology. We just needed to get two groups of people talking. So it, de it really depends on the organization. That's why we put a lot of, um, a lot of uh, time we spend about the people part, because understanding how the people work together also shows a lot about how your processes work. And it's not just a technology solution. Mm -hmm. No, and that's really powerful too. In terms of your journey, you mentioned you're in IT, business process management. Tell us what got you motivated to become an entrepreneur? Wow, um, I think I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, 
it's it's a big word that I learned when I was really small and I just liked it and I wanted to, I just kept saying it. Um, and then I found myself caught in the corporate rat race kind of, you know, <laughs> just doing the same thing. Worked with a lot of really amazing organizations, big and small. Um, but I found myself in a place where I was um, just physically and mentally um, just drained, sort of just in, 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 a, in a bad spot and thought, you know what, it's, I took, I took, a, I actually took a bit of a sabbatical um, to sort of help work on, on my health. And I decided, you know what, it's now or never. Um, I, I've always, it's always sort of been on my heart and it was an opportunity to, um, to just go and I just, I actually just dived right in. I, I literally, I am a very analytical person. I'm process oriented and methodical. I did a lot of research and then I got really scared. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, that health scare kind of put things in perspective for me. And I just decided, you know what, life is short, let's do it. Yeah. So here we are. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. And oftentimes we hear stories about that, right? Like you get burnt out in, or experience some change or, you know, trauma, some a wake up, a miracle in, in your career path and, you know, really realizing like, what is it am I put on this earth to do? And I, what am I passionate about? And I want to share with others. And um, your story inspires me, Tajay, and reminds me um, that it's so important to follow and pursue your, your passion passion um, today. <laughs> um, but I love what you mentioned as well. It's you, you went full in, but also taking time to evaluate and analyze the situation and making an informed decision. I guess your logical mind like, okay, check, 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 <laughs> you know? uh, going through that process. So that's really powerful. Um, what are some of the challenges that you've experienced on your entrepreneurial journey and how did you overcome them? I think um still going through that because and and you know this Chris Beth like we've been working together um what I do for other people I found a really hard time doing for myself so in terms of figuring out what my processes are and I spend a lot of time working on my business we're like working in my business and not as much working on my business because I, I put people first mm -hmm. so I also have to recognize that finding that balance of making time to make sure that I've shored up everything on my end, that has been my biggest challenge. I think too, it's been a journey, um, you know, I, I won't like sugarcoat it. Um, confidence has been a, a really big journey for me too. I'm the kind of person who likes to work in the back end. I'm happy, I'm that busy bee who's out, I'm in the back working. I don't need to be the front of anything yeah. um, or the face of anything. So. This part is all very new to me and it's a muscle that I'm learning that I need to flex. So <laughs> this is a challenge. And so every day I try to push myself to sort of overcome a little bit of fear um, and do things that I wouldn't normally do just because I recognize this is part of the journey, right? Like I signed up for the journey, so here we are, right? <laughs> um.